hello everyone we will implement a program to print prime numbers in given range so this program is printing prime numbers in given range say n1 and n2 so this n1 and n2 value values i will accept from the user so they can be anything it may be from 1 to 100 or 1 to 500 or some values like from 50 to 200 so to understand this program first you should implement a program where you are checking if given number is prime or not so we have implemented that program in earlier video so if you want to understand the program you can go to my earlier video uh, so so first i will implement that program first in this video also and then i will i will slightly modify that program to get this one so for that program i will need one num number which i will accept from the user now this num number i will check whether it is prime or not then i is a variable and flag is one more variable which is initially zero so here what i will do i will take the number from the user first so i will ask user enter number then i will scan that so scan f percent d comma ampersand num and then using one for loop i check whether that number is completely divisible by i so i will vary from 2 to that number so i is equals i equals to 2 i is less than num so it will go up till num minus 1 i plus plus during this range if num mod i becomes zero that means num mod i equi equi equals to zero then i set the flag value to one and i break and outside the for loop i check if flag is zero or not if flag is zero that means it is a prime number since the remainder did not become zero anytime so here i will say printf prime and if flag is not zero that means else part then i will print not prime so this was the program that i have implemented in the earlier video so let's run this first So 13 is a prime number, 27 is not prime, 97 is prime. So this is a simple prime number program. Now what I want to do, I want to check numbers within some particular range from n1 to n2 and out of those numbers I will print prime numbers that means this num variable i will not accept from the user but this num i mean that num that number will change first initially it will be n1 then it will be next number then next number then next number up till n2 i will go so num will be initially n1 so what i will do here instead of scanning num variable i will initialize that with n1 and n1 n2 values i will take from the user so i have to declare few more variables like n1 for range n1 will be there n2 will be there and i will scan them from the user so here i will say enter range that is n1 and n2 I will scan n1 n2 so percent d percent d comma ampersand n1 comma ampersand n2 and after that I will I will initialize num with n1 value now after that I will check so if, if I mean for that num if it is prime or not so for i0 i equals 2 i less than num i plus plus so that will be as it is num mod i equals to 0 flag will be 1 and then if flag is zero that means it is prime number now i am not supposed to print whether that particular number is prime or not now now what i am supposed to do i am supposed to print that number itself it is if it is a prime number so instead of writing this printf instead of this if else 
here I will print that number itself so here I will say percent D and I will print num if flag equal equals to 0 because if flag equal equals to 0 means num is a prime number so I will print that number itself now after that what so after now this thing is actually checking if num variable is a prime number if num number is a prime number and if it is a prime number then it is printing that number so this code is checking if num is a prime number and if it is a prime number it is printing that number now what I want I want to uh, perform the same thing for next numbers till n2 so this whole code will go inside some another loop which is which may be while loop or for loop so I am putting that in some another loop which is while loop that while loop will get over here now what will be the condition for that while loop so condition for that while loop will be if that num which you are checking whether it is prime or not is less than n2 or it is less than equals to n2 because you will go till the upper upper level of the range and here you have to say num plus plus because next time in the next iteration of the while loop you have you, you will check that incremented value and this thing will be outside the loop that initialization of the num variable will be outside the loop so it will be here okay and one more change will be there one more change which you generally miss you you implement up till this but one thing you forget and you do not get the correct output and that thing will be resetting the flag values now in this case what will what will happen the flag is initialized here which is zero so for first number maybe it will become one or it may not become but for the next number from the second number onwards again that flag should reset so that flag equals to zero statement should be written in this while loop so this is the common mistake which you which you perform and you do not get the output so now you have to remember this line you have to reset the flag value for the next numbers inside the while loop now let's see whether it is running so I think the code is complete okay so I will run this enter range n1 n2 say 1 to 50 so it is printing 1 2 3 5 7 so it is it is printing 1 unnecessarily okay anyways 2 3 5 7 11 13 other values are correct so I will initialize okay fine if n1 equals to 1 then n1 plus plus because you don't want to print that one value so now let's run 1 to 100 yes it is printing all the values 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 8 3 97 correct so you are getting all the numbers within given range so you can write some appropriate statement here prime numbers in given range say 50 to 200 all the prime numbers are 61 67 101 131 so you are getting the output so this was about the program thanks for watching the video and please do subscribe